hello guys uh today i'll be doing like um the isp soft user defined library function which is a feature that is on isp soft so um, if you are a, a programmer uh, let's say you've got a certain blog that you created like way back like say last year and then this function block you normally use it and all the specific instruction you normally use it every now and then in your program so we don't want you to go and copy this block from your old program and bring it to your new program that's where in this uh, user defined level comes in you don't have to rewrite your program or like import it from somewhere else you just have it there right on your desk in whenever you open your software it's right there so this is a good feature so i'm just gonna demonstrate uh how to use this function so for my example in my example i've got this pulsing output as you can see it's going on and on and on and let's say i normally use this function now and then and it took me like a, a lot of time to really come out with a program which does this so um, it's like uh this could be a pro a, a complex situation in in in, uh, in, in, in when i'm talking about someone else uh you know when you're a programmer there's a function block that you wrote that you normally use uh, it's your line of defense and stuff you don't have to do it over and then because you already cracked it already so what you're saying is like um, i have this function here it's pulsing it's pulsing and i use it every day so what do i do um what i'm gonna do now to save it like uh in the software itself so you have to come to this function block. I already designed the function block, so I'm going just gonna do another video to show you how to create a function block on ASP soft. So for the meantime, I assume you already know how to create a function block. So you come here and then you say export function. So you are going to export this to user defined library. Uh, right, you say export successful. So my block, this block here, I don't have to write it again anymore. Yeah, whenever I open my ISP soft, it just comes up like uh, any other function. It's like uh, you are you are coming here, you are taking a normal open. That's how you now use your your instruction, your program. So uh, you come to this side and then you check here. We have got like a uh, predefined functions already, like these Delta libraries. Uh, they are already they come with the software. So these are your user-defined library. If you check here now, my block is here now. So what you are going to do, we are going to close this so this program, and then we need to recreate another new program, and then we see how this, how we're gonna call this function block. So what for interest sake, I'm just gonna show you what's in here. It's just a a pulse a pulse flag. Or 50 milliseconds on 50 milliseconds off so it's just going on and on and on that's what this this program is doing anyway so i'm going to close this block mm, i don't want to know so my program is already saved in my function block my pro and then I, it's also saved in my user defined library so i'm going to create another project um, I'm going to create another project on ISP soft um, which is a different but I, I'm, I I really I really need to to use a similar function like uh, let's say I'm calling this calling, calling this counting uh, then I say okay so program new So this program, let's say I need to count every 50 milliseconds. Then I realize, oh shit, I wrote that program uh, way back then. So do I have to rewrite it? No. You already have a the user defined. Then you just come here and say, oh, I need to use that function. And then you come here. So you just drag it. You put it here. There it goes. You now have your function block already so um, i'm just gonna put something here let's say i'm saying m0 or I'll just call it out um, out like that so uh, there it goes i compiled i go online so 
that's basically how you you save your blogs within ISP soft that we use as different libraries. You don't have to rewrite it every now and then or so it's simple. It's simple. You can do like import and stuff, but this one you you have your programs that you normally use, you export them, you keep it in here. You know, whenever you want to use that, you just 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 grab it and put it here. So it's an easy way of uh, doing this. So guys, if this was very helpful you helpful to you, just uh, click on the subscribe button or like button so that uh, other guys can see the video very quickly like um, when, when, when they are looking for something that is helpful on POC programming. Okay, so thank you guys. Thank you once again.